Hello guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at Xiaomi smartphone and if you're watching this video you probably run into the same issue as this phone has. As you can see it says the device is locked, the device is associated with an existing Mi account so it could be your account or it could be somebody else's account if you bought this phone secondhand and the person who owned it didn't remove this phone from the Mi account which creates a lot of issues so I'm going to show you how you can fix it. Of course, if you can still get a hold of a person who you bought it from, it would be good if you ask him to remove this phone from his me account. This way the problem would be solved. But probably if you're watching this video, this is not the case. So I'm just going to show you one way you can fix it. Hopefully it will help you. This will be a very cool trick and insight. So make sure you support this video with your like. Subscribe to the channels for more interesting, helpful videos. There's going to be a lot more on this channel. So I hope you support my channel. And of course, if you get any questions during this video, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. Without further ado, let's get started. So this solution is going to be very simple. Yet, if you don't know it, you will never find it. So I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up once you know it, once you find this out. So as you can see, this phone is already associated with another me account that I don't have any access to and I don't have access to this phone number anymore and I cannot just remove this account from this phone. So the first thing you gotta do, you gotta connect your phone to the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and pick up the network. So after you have connected to the Wi-Fi, you're gonna get to the screen where you can activate your Mi account and for that you gotta enter password. So since we don't know the password for this Mi account, we can just go ahead and type up anything in the field for the password. And I'm just going to put some random digits and letters. It absolutely doesn't matter what you're going to put in that field. The next step, you want to go ahead and press on that eye icon just to the right of this password field. Then you just got to go ahead and long press on that password to highlight it. Then go ahead and click on the magnifying glass. Go to Google. And now when we get to the Google browser, go ahead and highlight the password and remove it and then just type settings in the Google search bar. As you can see, there's a settings menu here and press on the settings, then go ahead and scroll down and find second space. There we go. So the second space on, press turn on second space. The phone's gonna create a second space. And as you can see, the second space has been created successfully. So now on this device, you got two spaces. We can just keep the password for now. All these notifications, okay. There we go. So the phone is working. And as you can see, we got on this phone without even having a password, which is great. And we can use this phone as just any normal phone. It will make phone calls. You can use the camera. You can type. As you can see, I got network. I got Wi-Fi working, so I can use it for internet i can use it for messaging phone calls any messengers you can use basically this phone is absolutely operational which is really great we just got into this phone without even having the password let's go ahead and try out the camera as you can see you can give access to the camera and the camera is working i just took a picture and then you can go to the gallery give access to the sd card and you can check the pictures that you just took from this phone which was locked a few minutes ago. So the next step, what we wanna do, we're just gonna go back to the settings, then go ahead and scroll down to the me account. And right here, you can sign in to your own me account if you have one, or if you don't have one, you can go ahead and register one. And this way you can get this phone registered to another me account with your phone number or with your email. So yeah, this is it guys. This is how you do it. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support it with your like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful troubleshooting videos like this. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them and help you if I can. Also, you can go ahead and check out my other videos on this channel. And I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.